guys so um this video was supposed to come out a week ago i'm really sorry i didn't upload it um i'm going to start uploading more this is probably the third time i've said that this time i mean it also i'm gonna be making this humongous philosophy video just i i'm writing a script and everything my head hurts just thinking about it i just came back from making the start of it, but it's not coming out for quite a while, and, um, but I'm, it's gonna be taking up most of my time, also, um, part two to the, um, Ellie conspiracy is coming out soon, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but, um, basically, um, I just, sorry, I'm tired. So, in, earlier in the video, I say that everyone's going to be part of this collab. It's actually just going to be me and Branzo Maldon. But, um, this is my Rogue One review. Um, there would be more people, but they were all kind of busy and stuff. So, um, I say that stuff. So, just remember... The stuff I'm doing later in this video is from a week ago, and not all of the stuff I say is um, actually what's going to end up, is actually what ended up happening. Just, okay, just, um, just never mind. Let me start over. Oh my god. Okay, um, basically... Not everything I say is going to be true. Well, I mean, okay. Let me restart for it again. Okay. Not ev I say at some point, everyone's going to be in this video. Like Hydro Ash, Hydro Toast, um, Skeletor Games, all those guys. I'm sorry I couldn't. Um, I'm getting off task. Um, but they're not all in it. Also, I'm sorry I couldn't upload this sooner. I've been really busy, and I'm pretty sure that's all I wanted to say. So, um, here's my road. I am a unicorn! I am a unicorn! I am a unicorn! I'm a unicorn! I'm a unicorn! Hi guys, Stars Be Cool here, and um, sorry about the noise. We're all kind of planning our videos here. That, my friend, is Hell Rhino right there. Face reveal. So, um, I, I, wait, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of making my own video right here. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go somewhere else. Hey, hey, can I like set my super down and Oh, oh. Alrighty. Um, all right. So. Uh, this is my Rogue One review, and um, amazing news, every single channel that's here is going to be part of this review one by one. First, it's going to be me, also, um, spoiler alert, this, um, I just, um, this was amazing. This can compare to the originals. Don't call, like, if you're going to think, oh my god, that's stupid, have you even watched it? Because if you don't think that's stupid, you haven't even watched it, so, um... From here on out, spoiler alert, um, if you're not going to see it, you just want to hear it, it sound, I don't know, just, um, spoilers from here on out, that's it, so, um, if you've already watched it, or if you knew, basically, um, at the end, everyone dies, and, uh, that's my favorite part, I know that sounds evil, but, if you know how they die, it's beautiful. Now, I don't remember any of their names except Jin or so. It's kind of hard to keep on track. But basically, so... <clears throat> first, we see the, mo the guy with the staff who uses the Force to see. He's walking there saying what he always says. I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. I love that even more than May the Force is with you. It's so beautiful. Whenever I repeat it, I remember that death. I almost cry. <gasps> that was Brandon Maldon. So anyway, um, oh, I d forgot. Before that, the droid died. I mean, he was trying to block them out. He was shooting all the stormtroopers, the coolest droid I've ever seen. 
Then he gets shot. You see him slowly turning into ashes as he locks the door. And, um, to save them. Um, I'm, I haven't actually cried once, but I'm getting super close to crying. Then, it's the guy who uses the force. He needs to turn off this thing. So he's going, I am one with the force, the force is with me. He's saying that over and over, and the bullets somehow miss him when they're aiming right at him. And the stormtroopers have good aim, so you know, just because they're terrible. He switches it off. He saves part of the day. They all save the day somehow. And then he goes back. I am one with the force, the force is with, a bomb comes down. He dies. The friends, the heavy guy, I'm, I'm not saying he's fat, he has like heavy armory. I kind of call them from their Knights of Red name. Um, if you want to see that Fury, watch Film Fury's Rogue One. I know it didn't come true, but that's, I was so positive it would come true, which is pretty stupid of me. That, um, just, I, that's what I call them by, because I don't remember their names. So, the heavy, he's going to his friends. And he repeats to himself his words of wisdom, who he never believed. I am one with the force. The force is with me. And then he's shooting down all these death troopers like the awesomeness he is. Then another bomb comes. I am one with the force. The force is with Bill. Oh, my God. It was so sad. I'm sorry. This is the most emotional I've ever felt in so long. I love the Ender's Game trilogy. I thought, not the movies, the books. The movies suck. Um, I felt so emotional then. I, This is what true emotion feels like, watching all their deaths. Then you see the man, he had the, I don't remember his name. Um, what the heck? Why are you shirtless? Sorry, I had to stop that for a little. There were some things you probably should not see, so I cut them out. Anyway, um, there's someone there. Okay, anyway, um, then the guy, I don't remember which Knight of Ren he is. I'm just going to call him the defective guy. He has to turn off this, he has to turn on this radio thing. He does it. Another, someone throws a bomb in there. Then he dies with a smile on his face. Then finally, it's Jin or so and the other guy. So then um they they hug they like they love each other and then they shoot the death star at that planet cuz now it's like overrun with rebels as they see the bomb coming towards them they all die they like hug and it's so beautiful and then um I What and you think there's gonna be a gay scene, but there isn't. But they're not gay. One's a woman, one's a man. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm talking about. Oh my God, you are perverted. They're trying to get me. Oh well. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna say which channel members name. Um. Okay. Wait. Um. So anyway. Oh my God, guys! I'm making a video. It's Skeletor Games. Yay! Please. I'm almost done, like two more seconds. Banana and Cowboy, out! Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Skeletor Games Cameo. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so, um, anyway, then. Then, one thing I'd like to say I, I hate the Death Star scenes. You're wondering why? Okay, remember Alderaan. Remember when they blow up Alderaan? Laser blown. Laser blown. That's it. For a moon, not a planet, a moon. Takes them like two hours for it to actually blow up. Wait one sec. What's hot right now? What? No idea. So um, guys, I'm making a video. I'm making a video. Can I have it? Go in the room. Okay. All right. I'm finally some peace and quiet. So anyway, then what happened? So then what happens is they get the plans to. Princess Leia, they're like, what do we, what, what did they give us? And she says, hope, and, um, that's it. So, um, hope you enjoyed this review. And next up, we have Brit Koopa doing his review. We have Koopa from their channel, Brando Maldon. Koopa, how do you feel? What are your thoughts on Rogue One? It's okay to do spoilers. I did a spoiler alert at the beginning of this video. Well, I, I <coughs> thought it was really good. You know, I really liked... 
I, I liked a lot about it. I, I would have to say the first hour is very, very, very generic. It's very, it's not convoluted, but it is a little confusing to get behind. It is a little boring. I completely agree. Yeah, in a few spots. Like, I know they need to establish all the characters and stuff, but I felt that it was kind of just, it was kind of Suicide Squatty to me. Because it felt like these characters, we know they're going to die but, but, in the end. How, how do you feel about the second hour? Oh, the second hour is very, very well made. I think the second hour might be one of my favorite Star Wars movie moments, if you can call a whole hour a moment. But I, I just think the second hour was so well done. I loved... I, the, the, the last part of the movie is very, very well made. I, my question is, how did Carrie Fisher do it? Apparently it was a lot of CGI and a lot of makeup, but they did a really good job. They didn't make it yeah, look, at, at the end. So yeah, they didn't. They didn't make it look really bad, like in X Men Origins. She, with she looks like Xavier. a whole new actor. And also, um, final question: How do you th feel about the ending with the deaths? I, I really liked it because <coughs> a different Star Wars ending, other than Empire Strikes Back. And maybe Would you Revenge believe of the me Sith. that it was supposed to end like that in Return of the Jedi? Of course I would believe you because you're Star Wars people. But <laughs> I felt like besides Empire Strikes Back and maybe Revenge of the Sith, this was probably the the saddest, yes. dar uh, or Definitely. the darkest Star Wars ending. But, but it was also so emotional and beautiful. Yeah, but the, the final line in the movie is something about how she thinks that we'll get hope. A new hope. I am Mind torn. blown. Yeah. But and finally on a scale from 1 to 10, how would you rate Rogue One? I'd give it about a 7. I thought that the movie was very the first hour was very choppy and not very well edited. Agreed. Yeah. You know. Okay, special cameo from Hell Rat. Okay, anyway, also um on a um, he picked a 7, I forgot to say mine. 11, can you believe that coincidence? 11, 11. Is wow. that the actual time? I God, know. it's late. Um, but, yeah, I, I, thought I need to make okay. Okay. That's my thoughts. Yeah. Peace, Pokemon Koopa Trainers. Koopa from Brando Maldon. Peace, Pokemon Trainers. Alright, and next video. up, we're gonna be doing Hell Rhino, because he's already in here.